Verse come from nothing? Can something come from, from nothing? I don't think so. No, probably not. It can't be. It's impossible. Nothing produces nothing, correct? Yeah. So that's nullified, correct? Can the universe create itself? Probably not. Why? Because it has to pre-exist before existence, correct? So it doesn't work. All it was created. But how, how can God come from nothing? We don't say God was always there and will be always there but because it has no limitation. That's why we cannot measure God with our science, with whatever. So it's God always there and will be always there. But with the same argument, how can God come from nothing? Okay, then we'll say how, if you wanted to use this analogy, we could go, we could use this argument to say, okay, if God came from something, then there is something, with this something has to have come from something else, and this something else has to come from something else, all the way to infinity. And then it doesn't work. Yeah. So that's why it doesn't work like that. It has yeah. to be a starting point yeah, no, to I, move through everything, correct? I accept that, yeah. And if you want, at one point there was nothing and then there was something. No, not, no, I wouldn't say well, the universe was nothing, correct? The universe but, was nothing. Yeah, the but whole universe was there. But God was there. Was there has and God, always. How long has God been there for? God was there always and so will be always. So it's not, so it's not, li that's why my point is, our concept of science is limited within our universe. That's the concept of science. So beyond our, beyond this universe, yeah. all this metaphysics and all of these things, beyond our understanding. Yeah. And that's why God was always there and will be always there. Yeah. As simple as that. Now, that's why, but this universe came into existence, which we know and we understand this. It came into existence at a certain point. And it has to come with and under these three things. It either came from nothing, which cannot be done, or came from created itself which is impossible yeah. or was created by you know by and uh, you know by 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 a creator and this creator has certain characteristics all powerful to create this universe has has the knowledge to create this universe which is all know, all knowing all knowing and as well has a will independent will meaning no one is telling him what to do what not to do correct yeah. do you agree yeah. so if we say that there is a god that created the universe um, are we the center? Are we his masterpiece? Does he care about us at all? He, if he cares, if he cares about us. That's why he has sent prophets and messengers of God to us to guide us to the right path. And I, that's why we are kind of a unique creation that our decision has an impact worldwide. It's not just on a decision that could do things. If it's about reproduction, you know, some animals do better job than us. But it's not about this. So we have a deeper meaning and we have a bit deeper, you could say, reason for our existence. And this deeper existence, I will suggest, if you want to accept it, to be grateful to God, that's all. Do you accept? To be grateful for existence. Yeah, for example. Grateful to the life. You could you came here, you uh, are not yeah, you're not disabled. Are. You have two eyes, you could cross the road, you do not blind, you're not deaf, you talk, and you have all of these privileges. Yeah. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Don't you think God deserves to be Thanked for all of that that we have. I'm absolutely grateful for it, but I don't think that I'm grateful to a, a God because I don't think I that He's ever shown Himself to me or interacted with my life. Or yeah, yeah, maybe some, maybe you have something. some personal maybe you have some personal problems or whatever you went through with him, which everyone went through him. This is the life. This is life of life of challenge. But as well, don't you see that you have privileges that you don't? Some other people they don't have it. Absolutely. So the the, yeah, the yeah. issue is no, God didn't lucky. give everything perfect to everything. So God give give you something and he didn't give it to someone. Give you maybe some difficulties, but as well give you good health, give you eyes, ears, nose, mouth. You are perfect. You could walk and all of these things. And God gives someone else the things that you are missing, but maybe they didn't give him the, the full thing because the, or the other thing. The point is that God as well wanted us to be thankful and grateful to the things that we have because there will be an end to this life and there will be an afterlife which we are looking for, which is we'll have the perfect things, we'll have the perfect life, which is better than this. Life. And God wanted this to be, this is as a life of test.
Well, that's so what you, we you're saying that not only did God create the universe, but he's involved in the creation of every single person, determining whether they're disabled or not, determining whether they're... There is nothing, everything, under the, not, everything under the will of God, everything. And he it's a test. engineers each individual person. Exactly. So why does he choose to... Why are there people who are born with illnesses and disability? Why yeah, does so, he do that? So, if, for example, I will tell you something. Even to religious people? The, you know, you need to understand the existence of evil. It's something which is, is a factor for us to appreciate the goodness. Or the existence of deficiency is a reason for us to, be appreciate, to appreciate the good things that we have. For example, if everyone is perfect, if everyone is in good health, no one gonna die. Uh, we will have, we'll have to all of these things for granted. That's, this is the no, me, and not just that. If the evil doesn't exist, we'll not appreciate the good things that we have. Meaning, if you, how are you gonna appreciate the good health that you have if there is no one having a bad, bad, having a bad health? So God makes God makes disabled people so that we appreciate our good health. No, not necessarily. Those disabled people, this is a test for them, the same as the good health for you is a test for you. So the test, even the good health that you have, you will be questioned about it. The same thing that, that disability for someone is a is a, is as well is a test for them. So each each of which has his their own test, and this their own test that they have some other things which is way better than us. For example, there is a brother who uh, who is a convert, was an atheist, and he became to Islam. He was fully disabled. He was he was all of these things. Yeah. It was literally. You know, move his his thing is moving with his with, the, with his lips. That's all. But yet, he appreciated the good things that he has. He passed away recently, rahmatullah. But he appreciated the good things that he have. He came to this conclusion. So okay, all of these things I'm I'm not having. But I have other some other good things. He was the most productive person that I have ever met. You could see. So that's why. Yes, it was. A, it doesn't mean that disability for someone. It's not necessarily a disadvantage in everything, but could be disadvantage in something, but it could be advantage for some other things. You see here, yeah, so there is always balance with the things. So that's one of the things for us yeah. to appreciate, for example, here. Yes, this is, how, this is the life, and that's yeah. how, this, is how, this is how it is. So that's why we should be grateful of the things that we have. You might be not have enough money, for example, where someone else have more money than you, but as well has other deficiencies in his life. So all of us, no, none of us has a perfect life, but we are looking to perfect our hereafter by submitting our will to the will of the Creator there for the reason that he has created us for, to be grateful to him for the things that we have. Okay. As simple as that. It's been lovely speaking to you. Anyway, lovely speaking to you. I wish you ponder upon the things that I mentioned Absolutely to you. Absolutely well. Yeah. And as Thank well, you. read, you have the Quran. Yeah, you have, the, have the Quran, read through the Quran, and then you'll find all of these things, you know, you'll find there are amazing things in the Quran. But when you when you look at it, that's one yeah, of the facts. Yeah, there, are, we'll read it. Yeah. there are, as well, by the way, there are scientific facts in the Quran. You will be amazed by those scientific facts. Those, those facts, it cannot be said. If you want, I could go through them if you have time. I, I've actually got to go. Yeah. By the way, just go through them, and as well, I wish you to read. And as we go into the you know scientific facts in the Quran, could there are some 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 website like that? Just go and see those scientific facts of the Quran. You will be amazed by those by those facts in the Quran. Excellent. It cannot be said 1400 years ago. All right. All right. Brilliant. All right, my friend. All right. Thank you. Take care. All right. Thank you.